Welcome back one and all, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Icewind Dale 2. We are on level 4 of the Severed Hand. Technically not the final level because there are sub towers we have to go to, but you know what, it's fine. Let's go talk to Miram, she's the head cook as you recall. What do you want me? Who are you? Miram is what they call me, silly as it may sound. You may ask what you're doing here. I'm the closest thing to a cook this place has. I prepare the meals for just about everyone here at the fortress. Speaking of which, I'm busy. Unless you have something of importance to talk about, leave me to my work. I seek the cook that prepares the food for the slaves. That would be me. Now that you've found me, what can I do for you? Someone is stealing the slaves' food. They are going hungry. You've been talking with that Vashti girl, haven't you? Yes. She asked me to speak with you about the matter. Blah. Figured as much. I'm going to tell you the same thing I told her. I don't believe any of this nonsense about anyone stealing food. Why? What is so hard to believe? I've been feeding those same slaves for nigh on six years now. There's never been any food thefts in the past, so why should there be now? Why would someone just up and start stealing food? I do not know, but the slaves are going hungry. So she says, but I don't buy it. I don't know what the girl is up to, but I'm not buying it. What if someone is stealing the food for whatever reason? Would it really hurt to give them more food? Yes, it would. I only have a fixed amount of supplies. If I start giving them more food, then someone else has to go hungry. Why not just order more supplies, or fix smaller portions for everyone to make up for the extra you give to the slaves? I can't order more supplies, I have to take what's delivered here each week. As for rationing, forget it, they're only slaves. If I have to choose who doesn't get to eat, then I choose them. Anything I can do to change your mind? No, no, get out of here and leave me be, I've got work to do, and you're keeping me from it. Or is there something else you want to pester me about? Very well, farewell. We're actually gonna head downstairs and finish this quest really quickly. We may as well. Uh, I mean, that's no. You know what? There's a couple. There's another quest we can do on our way back down, including killing the Glebru. Glebru? Glebru. There's one room that's full of nasties in here, but there's only just the one, so I gotta make sure I don't accidentally wander into it, because I don't remember exactly which one it is. Jabrilla, we need to talk to her about her dead husband. I'm gonna take that helmet. And I'm gonna take Executioner's eyes as well. Jabrilla. Oh, you surprised me. My mind was elsewhere. Forgive me. I am Jabrilla. May I be of assistance to you? You were betrothed to Zay Mystere, were you not? Yes, why do you ask? I would like to speak to you about his death. Can you answer a few questions for me? Certainly, feel free to ask what you will. Can you tell me how he died? It's my understanding that he took his own life. At least that's what I've been told. Do you believe that to be the case? I, I do not know. I thought he was happy with me, that I pleased him. Yet they say he... I must have failed him. You are not at fault here, Jabrilla. This was none of your doing. No? I find myself wondering. But I am grateful for your kind words. Is there anything else you would like to know? I found what appears to be Zim's diary. In it, he mentions the creature as stalking him. Do you know anything about that? A diary? I was not aware that Zim kept a diary. In any case, I know nothing of any creature. I suppose it could be connected to his work somehow. And what can you tell me about that? Nothing. He told me his work was confidential and that I was not to inquire of it. I respected his wishes. Don't lie to me, woman. Are you telling me he never mentioned his work not once? I assure you I speak truly. Zayn was a man of honor. His work was confidential and he never broke that confidentiality. I love and respected him for that. Hmm. Anyone who would have worked with him who would know what he was researching? Well, only two people that I know of. Sablik Tan, his superior, and Cav Lathram, his apprentice. You certain of that? Yes, as I said. Zayn's work was confidential and he would not break that confidence. Only his superior and his apprentice would possibly be privy to his work. What about Cedrin Zill? Cedrin, the librarian? No. It's my understanding that the man is incompetent, that's why he's in charge of the library instead of doing research himself. I have spoken with Cav Lathram. Neither you nor he, the two most important people in Zame's life, know what he is working on. In a way, I'm not surprised. As I said before, Zame took the confidentiality of his work to heart. And yet I learned of Zame's work from Cedrin Zill. What? How can that be? How would Cedrin know? He could not, unless he has read Zame's research notes. Zame's notes were destroyed. The ashes were found next to his body. Yes, so I've been told. However, according to Cav, those notes were forgeries. Then, are you saying that Cedrin Zill murdered my Zam? That is what I intend to find out. Farewell for now, Jabrilla. Bum bum bum. Murder is afoot in this place. Of course, when you hang out with all evil people, 
Perhaps you shouldn't be surprised when they turn out to be backstabbers. Hi, hell, I hate Master Drothan. I am Drothan, a priest. What do you want? If it's healing or some such, you must speak with Radru. You stand upset. Is anything wrong? Yes. I am becoming disillusioned with this place and with my faith. I no longer feel part of anything here. Why? My faith teaches that a strong, the strong shall prevail and the weak shall perish. It is through strife that we are made worthy of life. I fail to see my purpose here at the hand. What are the trials that I must endure to bolster my body and spirit? As I said, I am becoming disillusioned. I found the diary of a priest named Garrick. In it, he mentions being promoted over you. Yes, he makes it a point to come here every morning and wave his new holy symbol under my nose. One of these days, I'm going to shove that thing right up his... Is there something special about his new holy symbol? I really should not answer such a question, but yes, the new symbol grants access to the priest's chambers in the tower. Anyone who possesses a symbol can enter the teleport circle and they will appear in the chamber. Garrick also mentions the Globe of Essence. Can you tell me anything about that? The globe is a gift presented to her ladyship, Mede, by Yaktu Zvim himself. It was given to her when she renounced the faith of Ilmatar. The globe contains the essence of three demons. So long as the globe is intact, the demons cannot be slain. These three demons, two of them are Isayar and Mede's bodyguards, and the third is the slave guard? Yes, that is correct. I see. Can you tell me how to destroy the globe? What you ask would be a betrayal of my faith. I don't in the Nine Hells with it. Listen, I do not know how to destroy the globe, but there is one who may. A priest of Ilmatar has been imprisoned in the War Tower. Seek him out. One last question. Where can I find the globe? It's in the temple on the second floor of this fortress. I must leave here now. I cannot in good faith remain. Farewell. Goodbye, hate master. Well, we're here. I was talking to Ruin Lord Eradru. I will admit they have cool titles. Moment, I am Eradru, High Priest of... Yaktuzim, how may I serve you? I am... No, one of the workers here is suffering from some form of mental disorder. Do you think you could aid her? No. Had you a need to know, mortal, you would. Ask me about it no more. Wait, what? What did I ask? Oh, I'm interested in the demon guard on the first floor. Can you tell me about it? Oops. The creature is being used to enslave people. Are you aware of that? Of course I'm aware of it. I revel in it. The slaves will either survive and become stronger, or die because they're weak and undeserving. Better. Such is the will of Yaktus Vim. Now one of the workers here is suffering from some sort of mental disorder. Could you aid her? Ailments of the mind require potent magic to cure. I am not willing to waste such power on a mere slave. However, I can give you a potion that may or may not cure her. Here, take this and administer to her. Farewell. I think that's all we needed from him. Yep, that's all we need from them. Now we have to go... These little hallways, by the way, lead to the uh, subsidiary towers around here. Actually, can we click on area notes? Oh, it doesn't show anything. Anyways, there's four of them. Whatever. You there. This is a restricted area. You need to leave. Forgive me, apparently. Uh, Lara, actually... Yeah, I got lost. I'll leave it once. Sorry, people. There's a way to handle the guards without fighting them in this particular area. Gather around. Today we'll learn about human anatomy and where to strike best in combat. I will demonstrate using these slaves. We will start with thrusting attack to the chest, which will effectively shatter the heart. Was this more students? No, I recognize you slay these intruders. What? Okay, best way to deal with this fight is to come back out into the hallway. Some of them will dimension door towards our group, but that's fine. They can do that all they want. Yes. Our mage is in position. Let's get a haste spell. I'm here. And holy aura. Hopefully we'll get them both up. If not, at least haste will be good enough. Yeah. And we'll kill them as they come through. I stand ready. Very well. This fight shouldn't be actually too hard. Except that she's feared. One of our characters has a little bit of the fear. I'll do what I 
Come on, dead. Now I will show you true strength. You always have a hearing disorder. You'll now see why it's unwise to test the limits of a legion of Chimera Guard. Of course, we got feared right into the enemy room with all the guards. That is normal. Stupid character. Fear is super annoying. It makes no sense. You don't run in a random pattern. People aren't rabbits. Yes. Ignoring the guard room for now. Alright, let's get haste and stuff on to start with. Oh, come on. We weren't in the room. At least we're already out in the hallway, I guess. Except our mage is in front, which is bad. What is it you Can I save now? Perfect. That actually works pretty good. As you wish. Yes. At your service. Yes. Cool. There we go. This is going much better. Kill the instructor. Should take no time at all. Almost dead. Into the room itself. Kill the rune lord. Surrounded it. Killed. I don't think there's anything else in the room to fight. Their little class only has a handful of members. Now... There's one more person we need to talk to on this floor. I haven't seen her yet. Maybe I missed her somewhere. Not you. You, Riki. Well met, adventurer. I'm Riki. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. What are you doing here? Waiting for you, actually. I have information that will aid you in your quest. I also have some items you may find useful. We'll see the items first. An arc of gold is a bow... Plus six. Don't mind if I do. Also, we'll sell some junk. Like, you can have this ring of protection, and you can have this crappy flail. Well, it's a good flail, but I don't need it. Uh, you can also have... That's it. Just take those two for now. And this other flail. Okay. Anyways, I want this bow. Thank you. What else do we have here? Look at displacement, non detections, light crossbow accuracy, lots of ranged stuff. But I'm quite excited for this bow. That is a damn nice bow. Anywho, we aren't supposed to be buying. Well, I mean, we can buy stuff from her. What are you doing here? Waiting for us? What information would that be? There's a guard barracks located on this floor. I've had a look inside, and they appear to be quite formidable. I'm not certain that you're capable of defeating them. So how do you suggest I deal with these guards? Personally, I'd poison their food supply. I think that would deal with them quite nicely. Do you have such a poison? No, you're going to have to collect the ingredients and then brew the potion yourself. For a poison potion, you'll need to find a bonding agent, a virulent agent, and a demon's blood. How do I brew the potion? You'll need an alchemy laboratory. You can find one on the second floor in the Thavian Enclave. Just get the permission to use it. I will do so. Good, once you have the potion, go to the kitchen and put it in the guard's food supply. When you have done so, come back to me. I have another matter of importance for you. What is it? We'll discuss it when the time is right. For now, you must deal with the guard barracks. Alright, where do I get the demon heart, though? It's one of these rooms. I don't think it's this room, though. Or demon blood, I should say. There is lootables, so possibly in the kitchen. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Uh, that, I think, now is everything for this particular floor. We'll head back downstairs. We'll grab the poison. We'll also turn in a couple of the other quests. We'll do the food quest. If I must. 
quests. There are quite a few quests in the Severed Hand, as you may have noticed, which is cool, I like that. I will do as you wish. Mm, Ready, yeah, that's fine. Wait, what floor am I going to? Yeah, the food quest is on level 1, right. It's the second last level 1 quest we have. to talk to the food person who's in charge of food. I think she was in this room? Some very intense music for like an empty place full of non-hostiles currently. We'll find her pretty quick here. She's in one of these places. Maybe this room? I think it's this room. Yeah, that's her. Foshti! I have spoken with the cook. She refuses to increase your food allowance. Then we are left with little choice. We must discover who the thief is and stop him. I shall do so. I'm grateful for your help. Our food is left in the hall yonder. If you were to hide in the shadow of the scaffold there, perhaps you could catch the thief in the act. And so we play the waiting game. We're not hidden very well. Come get your food rations, you ungrateful sods. A giant lizard. And he headed into that little room there. I wonder if that's where he is. It is. Very well. Luckily we picked up that ring of nourishment earlier. That's where this comes in handy, by the way. Just stand still, we'll talk. Zame. I mean you no harm, adventurer. I ask that you leave me be. I cannot leave just yet. I must speak with you about the food you're stealing. It shames me to admit it, but I did steal the food. Why? I hunger. I have no food. I don't know what else to do. You do not have access to the kitchens, do you? You don't belong here. No, I am in hiding here. Who are you, then? I do not know. I have no name. I wish I... I have never had need of a name until now. You may call me Zame if you wish. Zame? As in Zame Astir? You must be his creation. I do not know what you speak. I think you do. Zame is an unusual name. Why would you choose it unless you know him? I... Why do you ask? If you're Zame's creation, then you should know that he is dead. What? No. How did he die? I believe he was murdered by a man named Sidrin Zil. Why? Why did he do this? It was a matter of simple jealousy. I understand now. He stopped coming to feed me because he was slain. You say that Zane was feeding you? Yes, he came to me each day. And you began to steal food because he stopped coming. Yes, it shames me to admit it, but I did. Speaking of the food thefts, you must stop now. I have seen food brought to these people every day. More food will be brought to them tomorrow. Yes, but they're slaves. They're only allowed so much food. They are going hungry because of the thefts. Forgive me, I did not know. I meant no harm to anyone. I will not steal the food again. I do not know what to do, though. I hunger all the time. I must have food. I know I'm going to regret asking this, but why are you so damn hungry all the time? I do not understand what I'm about to tell you, but I am repeating what I was told by my creator. My body has been accelerated to the point where I am beginning to phase out of reality. Go on. That is all I know. That is why I'm so fast. Why I cannot be easily seen. It's also why I always hunger. I would ask that you aid me as you did the slaves. Will you help me find some food? I found this ring of nourishment. So long as you wear it, you will not hunger. Ah, this will do nicely. I am grateful to, for you, to you. I am glad to have been evaded. Farewell. There we go. We solved his little dilemma. Also, why has our sorcerer not leveled up yet? Oh, he's kind of close. Let's go solve this quest as well. Maybe we'll gain a level. Probably not. Well, Matt, have you discovered who the food thief was? Yes, the matter has been dealt with. Your food supply will not be compromised any longer. I am grateful, and I am in your debt. Farewell. Indeed. Let's go make some poison. We have all the ingredients. We have access to the alchemy lab. 
from the Thavian people. I like how we're evil, but we can't stand- or I can't stand the evil of the other people. It's kind of amusing. There's the lab. Where are the Thavian people? Are they over here? Or is this the place? No, that's that stupid woman's room. Right. You've returned. When we last spoke, I asked you to find a solution to the portal puzzle in the Mage's Tower. Have you done so? There's a matter of some importance I must speak to you about, and what might that be? I believe that a member of your enclave, Zaim Estir, was murdered by Sidrin Zil, the librarian. That is a very serious accusation. What evidence do you have that lends credence to your belief? Allow me to explain. I see. Yes, you've convinced me. I will see to it that Sidrin is punished for his crime. I believe justice should prevail in this matter. I have found you guilty of the murder of an Enclave member, Sedrin. For that you shall pay with your life. Flat out murdered. You have returned. No, I'm still working on it. Maybe we can't do the poison until... That situation's been dealt with. Or maybe we talk to the other Thavian wizard. The actual mage. She doesn't want to speak with us. Maybe the apprentice will help us? Let's see. You're already here, just go talk to him. I trust you. Kay, I've come to tell you the man responsible for Zim's death has been found and dealt with. May the bastard rot in the abyss. I'm grateful for you telling me this. Farewell. What is it? Little bits of experience here or there just by handing things well. in. We have the potion for this woman as well. We might as well do that while we're here. I'll try and cut out that bark. Times two. <coughs> Annoying dog. No, not again. Why can I not find a rest? Be gone. Vailu, I brought you something that halt the voices. You must drink it. Do you understand? Stop voices? No more? Yes, drink this, Vailu. What the? Where? Where am I? What am I doing here? You've been ill, Vailu. Do you not remember? Yes. For once my mind is clear. Oh, but I have done some foolish things. Would you mind telling me why you did that? The only way I could stop the voices was by giving the elementals something to focus on. Deep inside, I guess I wanted to put an end to the construction, so I began sabotaging it. And what do you intend now? I will let Roga know that I am well, but I will not return to that former life. I will stay here with my kin. Okay, I'll leave you alone then. I am grateful for your help, friend. Farewell. And now we can go turn in that last part to Roga. There he is. She is. It is. Mm -hmm. Just go talk. You're fine. Just go. I've heard from Bailu and she seems well. I thank you for your kindness. Good to have helped. Farewell. What do you want? There we go. We're doing some good stuff. I really need to uh, get to that tower, but I guess I can't, or the poison thing, but I guess I can't yet. We'll worry about that in a moment. Charisma level 6, concentration, sure, why not, and spellcraft. Also, why not, and we get a level 8 spell. We can get flaying. It's pretty nice. Great shout is okay. Horde bolting is awesome. Fiery cloud. Lasts a long time. Iron body. It's okay. Mind blank. It's okay. 
Powered, blind is okay. Summon monster eight. Possibly. Summon fiend. We would need to have protection from evil on. Symbol of death, fear, hopelessness, pain, and stunning. Twenty-five to eight damage possible. Fort save for half. I think I'm gonna take horde will. Uh, Fiery cloud is also really fun. Ten rounds. Could end up doing sixty-six, sixty d6 damage. But then again, we're fighting a lot of demons, and demons are resistant to fire, so horde wilting is good. All right. What do we have for time? 25. I'll cut out that bark too. Let's try and talk to her again. I need to make use of the laboratory in this room. For a purpose, I need to make a mix of poison. It'll take but a moment. Well, I see you have a delegate pass. I suppose it'll do no harm to allow you. I'm grateful. Farewell. Okay, so we need the pieces of that. Demon's blood. Bonding agent. Virulent agent. Is it like a button? Oh no, there it worked. Lethal vir virulent poison, there we go. We have our poison, let's go upstairs and deal with it, and then we'll call it a video. And we'll probably end up finishing the game off on Monday or Tuesday, most likely Tuesday. We only have the four towers to go, a couple side quests to finish, we have to destroy that sphere. So we can kill the Gleberzoos. Why did I just do that? That's silly. Back up to level 3. We have guards to kill. Oh god. I'm gonna hate myself here for a sec. I need to go back. Because that's also level 1. But we also didn't loot that body of the dead dude yet. He has room. I mean, we had him slain in cold blood. We should probably take his goods. Doot, 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 doot. Thank you. And also, everyone, come to this door because we need to go up a floor. We don't need to go back down to level one. Why is the pathing so shit in this game? Where are you going? You were over here at the correct spot. And then you decided to just sort of wander around the base of the tower. That didn't make any sense. Level 3, perfect, but still not the floor we want. Level 4 is the floor in question. We're probably not going to gain another level by the end of the game, unfortunately. This is going to be the level we're at. Uh, so first up, well, we need to poison the guards. So you're going to put the poison in this little sack area. It's about time the food got here. And the whole barracks just died. Well met again, how may I aid you? I wanted to let you know that the guard barracks has been dealt with. Excellent, now there's another matter you must deal with. What is it? Isayer and Medea have allied with a deity named Yaktuzvim. If you wish to succeed in your quest, you should sever their ties with him. There's a priest of Ilmater imprisoned in the war tower. Speak with him of the purification ritual. Okay, I'll do so. Return to me when you have done so. Okay. And the last thing we're going to do in this video, or the last couple things we're going to do in this video, is tell her that her husband's been avenged. Jabrilla, I've come to tell you that the man responsible for Zim's death has been found and dealt with. 
Truly, I'm grateful for you telling me. I can at last rest knowing that justice has prevailed. We are unfortunately just tons away from a level, so that's probably not going to be a thing. I will do as you wish. But we can also go to this room, loot the bodies and chests. So, we'll do that quickly. Yeah. And then in the next video, what do we have to do? Go to the war tower, I guess. We're pretty well heading into the tower part of the game. Chain armor, magical. Except that he's now encumbered because it weighs a ton and he is weak. This is Chain of Dracus. It is very good armor. Spellcasting and thieving abilities can be performed without penalties from wearing armor. I mean, it only gains one armor from it. But I mean... Oh right, he's wearing a cursed armor. That's way better than her current armor. It might even be better than our current plate armor. By one, what about for him? Well, not as good as his current armor. The same as hers, so I'm gonna give that to her. Give that to her. It only gives her plus two, but whatever. What's this do again? Oh, it has some damage reduction. That actually might be better just because of the damage reduction. This is just uh, quarter weight full plate, so we're just gonna drop it on the ground. There's no point in carrying it around. Well, the Banshee, Powered Blind, Decent Spells. Aegis is a nice spell, we'll get that. And that's it. There's nothing really on the bodies to loot, there's some gold and stuff, but nothing of note. I'm here. So and that's going to be it for this video. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.